Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, guys, we are in a state of emergency here and in today's video, I am going to break that entire thing down. Um, the degeneracy continues, the clown world in the finance community uh, continues. We just found out that one of the biggest clowns on YouTube, one of the worst investors on a YouTube finance uh, space, uh, just launched an ETF. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, that's right. I am talking about Meet Kevin, aka Kevin Helmut Pathraff, aka the guy who sold all of his stocks in January of this year, aka the guy who just recently got a DUI not that long ago, aka the guy who talked and promoted all of these garbage stocks and cryptos on his channel and don't worry we're gonna get into that but first i want to play my favorite clip from kevin helmut pathraff echoes from above so the problem with echoes from above is he's a pathological liar like some things he says he's correct about and i'm happy to talk to people who are honest and so when you get people like this echoes dude that, that are just straight up scumbags who uh, are lying Man, who knew? I guess uh, telling the truth makes you a scumbag. But uh, okay, let's go ahead and get into this. I got my iPad here for help. Uh, it ain't a script. <laughs> I don't read scripts, but I do have my iPad here for help because what I did was I saved a bunch of old me Kevin videos into a playlist and we're going to go through them and make fun of them. And I want you guys to let me know, does this sound like a guy who should be having an ETF? Does this sound like the type of person whose ETF you want to buy? And by the way, after I get done exposing this guy, if you still think that you want to buy his ETF after this, I can't help you. I mean, I mean, for crying out loud, let's just start off with number one. So you can see right here in this video, uh, me, Kevin says in the video, why I'm investing in dog gammy in Tezos. Now, Tezos is a regular cryptocurrency and all that, which... Crypto has a very bad name right now, so even that's kind of bad. But this guy talked about dog gammy on his channel. But here's where it gets funny because you see, folks, if you actually look at the video, um, oh, I'm sorry, I have to put my phone on screen record. Sorry. Yeah, this video is going to be all that great edited. Oh well, give me a break. Okay, so screen record is on. If you look at this video right here, it says why I'm investing in dog gammy and Tezos. Now, at the beginning of the video. Me, Kevin says that he's not sponsored uh, by Dog Gammy, which I don't know. I don't know if I believe that one. It's kind of weird. I mean, maybe he's not sponsored, but he had to have cut some type of deal with them. Because if you actually look at the description of me, Kevin's video, look what I found. You can see that Dog Gammy is in the description of the video. Now, for those who don't know what Dog Gammy is, uh, it's an absolute scam, first off. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and actually click on the web website and make fun of this. So let's look at this. Dog Gammy into the petaverse. Adopt, raise, and earn. You can adopt a dog gammy. Oh, look! Adopt dog gammy NFTs. Raise your puppy in AR. Like earn dog of rewards. Like, what is this? This is some degenerate, scummy bull crap. Like, what is this, bro? Like, this is so freaking hilarious. Where's the next mint? Yeah, it looks like this is a legit NFT. It says right here, join our Discord to be kept informed of upcoming NFT sales. Uh, we have NFT drops. So here's what's funny. Dog Gammy actually has their own little speculative crypto coin. I went ahead and checked it. It's down like 80% year to date. Absolutely hilarious. And uh, yeah, me, Kevin, promoted that on his channel. Dog Gammy, a scummy speculative NFT cryptocurrency that says that you could be into the petaverse with your fake dog token or whatever i don't know crazy stuff okay let's go ahead and move on let's keep looking at uh more of these videos um i found another video and look what video that is uh me kevin <laughs> had an interview with the ceo of blockfi and he titled the video bitcoin to one million dollars with blockfi ceo um BlockFi just filed for bankruptcy like a few days ago. <laughs> like, oh my God. And also, here's what's even funnier. Me, Kevin, had this to say about BlockFi. I am, however, officially sponsored by BlockFi. And see, this is another competitor, not to kind of uh, get a little confusing here, but BlockFi is another company that also offers, you can see the competition here, a Bitcoin credit card. Which if you want this and you want to get up to $250 for free when you transfer money, go to metkevin.com slash BF. <laughs> this one I am officially sponsored by. But anyway, uh, and I also invest in this company. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and look at something else. Uh, oh, look. 
Me, Kevin had, oh, there's an ad. But anyway, me, Kevin had, you can see by the title right here, me, Kevin had the CEO of Voyager on his channel. <laughs> okay, let's go look at something else. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Sand Token. He's talking about Sand Token on his channel. Sand Token, the cryptocurrency. I guess he says and danger, so maybe he's talking about the danger. I don't know. I didn't look at it. You can see this video right here. Uh, this could make Shiba Inu explode. So he's talking about Shiba Inu on his channel. Do you guys see where I'm going here? Oh, look at this one. I just invested $2 million into the metaverse. Okay. Do you guys know what he's talking about when he says that he invested $2 million into the metaverse? You would have thought, oh, maybe it's Facebook. Maybe it's Meta, which would have been respectable. You know what? Mark Zuckerberg has proved to me over the years that he's a genius CEO and he knows how to do what's best on behalf of investors. So you know what? I'm going to put $2 million into Facebook and Battle the Metaverse. You would have thought that that's what he was talking about, right? But no, folks. You want to know what he was talking about? You want to know what he put $2 million in? Let's look at the description. This man, folks... Uh, hold on, is it in the comments? Here it is. This man, folks, put $2 million into Matterport, ticker symbol MTTR. <laughs> he put $2 million into Matterport, which, by the way, for those who don't know, Matterport is down like 89% year to date, something like that, like 80%, 90% year to date. It is absolutely insane. And that guy, this guy who just started an ETF, Put $2 million into that stock. Not Meta, not Microsoft, not Apple, Matterport. What in God's name is Matterport? Oh my God, what a degenerate. They just let anybody have ETFs these days. Like there should be requirements. If you promoted garbage on your YouTube channel or ever on any of your platforms, you shouldn't be allowed to start an ETF. You're just burning people's money. Like I guarantee you, me, Kevin's ETF is going to significantly underperform. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Let's look at something else. Uh, I went on TV for Shiba Inu. Oh, my God. This man went on national television to talk about Shiba Inu. <laughs> and this is your king? This is the guy you all are excited about? This is the guy whose courses you buy? This is the guy who they let start an ETF? He went on TV to talk about Shiba Inu! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, oh man, it doesn't get any funnier than this. Oh my lord Jesus. Look at this video, folks. Look at this video. Why I'm, god dang it, ads. I promise I'll get ad block. Don't judge me. I will get ad block. Look at the title of this video, guys. Why I'm 1.8 million dollars into these stocks. Boy, I wonder what these two stocks are. He says he put 1.8 million dollars into two stocks. Man, that's a huge amount of money. Did he put those, did he put that money into stocks that are generating good cash flow? Did he put those stocks into two monster companies that have monopolies in their industries that are basically unrivaled in terms of their dominance? Is that what he did? No, folks. You want to know what he put $1.8 million into? Oh, God. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Here it is. He put $1.8 million into a firm and SoFi. Keep in mind, both of those companies are unprofitable. They're not even profitable. And he put $1.8 million into both of them. Is it starting to add up now? Are you guys starting to kind of see what I'm talking about here? This guy is a straight up degenerate gambler, scumbag, piece of garbage, horrible investor, doesn't know what the flapjack he's doing when it comes to investing. And they let that guy start an ETF. And don't worry, we're going to make fun of the ETF in a minute. Oh, ho, ho, don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry. We'll do it at the end of the video. Don't you worry. I want to see if there's anything else. Oh, yep. There's one more video I want to go. Oh my God. I didn't even see this. Okay. Before we get into this last video where he put a million dollars into what he calls the Tesla finance, we'll get to that in a minute. I didn't even realize I had this in the playlist. Oh my God. This guy had the CEO, oh, I'm sorry, executive. This guy had an executive of Smile Direct Club <laughs> on his channel. 
<laughs> this guy promoted Smile in the Red Club. Now, for those who don't know, that is actually a Jeremy LaFave stock with financial education. Smile in the Red Club is a garbage Jeremy LaFave stock that is down anywhere from 70 to 80 to 90% in the last 12 months. Another hot garbage stock. And me, Kevin, had the CEO of that company on his channel. Is it starting to add up now? And this, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just like 10 or 12 videos that I've shown you guys. I, if you go back and look at all his videos, there's like a hundred videos. I'm not even joking. I kid you not. There's like a hundred videos of this guy just being a straight degenerate and just showcasing that he has no idea what the hell he's doing. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go ahead to this last video, which is absolutely hilarious. First off in the thumbnail, he has, uh, the two wall street bets people with the diamond hands in his uh, thing, which is already funny enough, but, uh, sorry about the ad. I know, I know you guys are going to give me blah, blah, blah. Sorry about the ad, but basically um this guy said why i just invested one million dollars into this tesla of finance you guys want to know what he's talking about now you guys might be thinking the tesla of finance hmm, is he talking about uh visa or mastercard or you know something like that something that's still you know i don't know bank of america or something something that's just a major player in the finance space no folks he's talking about a buy now pay later company called a firm let me see if it's in the description no, it's not in the description, but trust me, he's talking about a firm. Let me see if I can find it in the video. Oh, my God. Yep, I can't find it. But the bottom line is, most of you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, there it is. There it is. A firm, folks. You can see it right here in the video. This man called a firm the Tesla of finance. Keep in mind, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure a firm was like $100 when he said this. And I think a firm's like $30 or lower or something like that. I don't know. But it's just all bad, guys. So now what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to actually go ahead and review Meet Kevin's PP uh, ETF, which is so childish. But yes, Joe. Yes, folks. I'm not joking. He calls his ETF his PP. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. It's like I can't believe this guy's a multimillionaire. I, I know. Let's go ahead and review it. Uh, actually, I'm changing my mind. I didn't realize that I had gone on for 12 minutes. This video is already long enough. And so, uh, yeah, I am going to go over me, Kevin's actual ETF in a live stream. I am going to live stream sometime this week. I don't know when, maybe Friday, maybe today. I don't know. But the bottom line is I'm going to live stream and then we're going to go over me, Kevin's, uh, entire ETF, all the garbage stocks that he bought and all that crap and different things like that. So, uh, anyway, that will go ahead and conclude today's video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And please, for the love of God, don't you dare ever in your life even consider putting your money in that garbage trash ETF. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.